All right, y'all. Got the pecs flexing and the abs rock hard and the grilling with the good dogs on my chest. So hopefully you'll get ready to enjoy some great grilling. This was a handmade gift from the Red Dragon herself to me for Father's Day. I absolutely love it. Hope y'all hope can see it in plenty of more uh, episodes in the future. So let me turn the camera around. We'll get right into this delicious fish that I just found at the grocery store. That's grilling with the good dogs. The logo's right there, y'all. It's right on the chest. Boom. All right, so what do we have? Some delicious swordfish. I was lucky enough to pick this up at the store. So happy about it. I was also able to pick up a few other fishes that I cannot wait to put in for this fish month of June that we're doing. So what are we gonna do with this? It came with some seasoning on it. I tried to get it off as much as possible. So first we're gonna marinate these things. You're not gonna marinate swordfish too long, maybe 15 minutes. I already got the grill up and honestly, those Pit Boss grills are fantastic. It's probably already at temperature, 400, 450, somewhere in there. And I got the flame guard open because we're grilling this, not smoking it, we are grilling these things. It's gonna be very quick. So what am I gonna do? We're gonna coat it in a third, uh, I'm sorry, a quarter cup of lime juice. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of garlic in there. I'm gonna get right back at it. It's about to run out of time here on grilling with the good All right, as I was saying, about a tablespoon of garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil. I have this seasoning that I wanna use, which is some McCormick Caribbean jerk chicken. I don't have a lot left, so I'm gonna supplement it with some uh, Spice Blend Caribbean um, handmade stuff. I uh, really like that, that was actually a gift to me. So I'm not gonna use too much of it, I'm gonna rely much more on the McCormick uh, Caribbean jerk seasoning. So first things first, I'm gonna mix all the liquid stuff and I'm gonna pat down the uh, fish with these two. Mix it all up, It's gonna everything's gonna sit in here. These aren't gonna be floating, it's not that kind of marinade, it's just gonna be caked on it. 15 minutes for that, I'll let you see what it looks like when I get done mixing it all together, getting it caked up. 15 minutes from that, grill's getting hot on grilling with the good dogs. All right, all right, all right. Got all the seasoning on there. The big chunks that you see is gonna be that Caribbean jerk chicken seasoning. Uh, all the little fine grain stuff, that's actually this uh, Caribbean spice blend. So this actually has kind of a sweet taste to it, or a sweet smell. Uh, can't wait to try that, it's gonna be great. Okay, so got the garlic, lemon, and olive juice in there. I mean, uh, olive oil. You're not going to be able to mix that olive oil in there. The way it's going to mix onto here is the fact that you got dry um, particulates on top of the fish. So any liquid's going to adhere to that, and it's going to cake up. So I'm going to get all that mixed up, and you're going to let this sit at room temperature. Again, it's only 15, 20 minutes, somewhere in there. I'm going to get it caked up. I'll let you see it, and then I'm going to go get on the grill, make sure it's all up to temp and everything is going good. On grilling with the good dogs delicious swordfish all right as i said you're gonna let that set about 15 20 minutes somewhere in there one thing you want to do when your grill's getting hot oil up those grates you don't want this thing sticking up to there i'm not saying it has to be sopping with oil but you know just give it a little dusting so that's what i'm about to go do i'm gonna give it a little dusting with that oil so that these don't just stick to there and it's just everything's ruined you just want to get good grill marks so pit boss grills are porcelain coated grill grates, but if you cook on them as much as it, as, a, as a, any red blooded American, it's, it's gonna get caked a little bit. And I try and clean them as best that I can, but they are not pristine. So I'm gonna go work on that, get that ready. Can't wait to slap those things on there. Grilling with the good dog. The stars of the show finally made an appearance. My dog, what y'all thinking? Get you a Klein's eye view. Good girl. Chef Corkle, Chef Kleinbear, they are in desperate need, desperate need of baths. Got some scuzzy chefs. Can't be cooking in the kitchen when you're that dirty dogs. Come on, come on. Coracle, you just want loving right now, huh? You're such a good girl. I'm giving you attention, bear. I'm giving you attention, sir. Stop that. All right, I just cleaned the grill again. Put the, uh, put the grill lid back down. And uh, as you can see, it's rapidly climbing. The reason you want such high heat because you don't want swordfish to dry out. This is gonna be very quick, maybe three minutes on each side, and then you're pulling it off, all right? So three to five minutes. I'm gonna go with three minutes because I don't mind it being a little bit raw. As you can see again, temperature is climbing up very high. Got the fish out here ready to go. 
my spatula. And when I open up this grill, you'll see everything looks nice, shiny black, because I just put the oil back on there. <coughs> Fire is licking up. That's what it looks like when the grill grate is open, y'all. Let's get these fish on there. All right, three minutes. Let's get it started. Grilling with the okay, got about 20 seconds left to go. And these are just under an inch thick, and that's just about what you want. Um, that again, you don't want these things to dry out. It's an expensive cut of fish. That's pretty good. I didn't have it directly on the fire, but a little bit of black right there. That one's a little bit bigger cut. Move it closer to the fire on this side. But I think it's going to be just fine. Let's see what it looks like when we flip it over for the last time. Starting up three minutes again, y'all. Really with the good dogs. It should come out just fine. Absolutely delicious. That's pretty much what you want right there. Probably could have been a little closer to the fire on this one, but in the end, it's going to come out just fine. Grilling with the good dogs. All right, down to about 20 seconds left again. This one's been pretty much directly over the fire, so we'll see how that does. Here, one second. All right, that seems good. That's not bad. That's what you want to see. Let's see what this one is. Not bad either. So let's get these off the grill and onto the plate. That's good stuff. Let that burn off. Anytime doing something like this, let it burn off and then you can crank it down and turn it off. That is not looking too bad. I cannot wait to cut into that. I got some rice set aside. Gonna make a nice little meal out of it. Should be fantastic. I'm gonna cut into them. Let you see what it looks like. I don't know, we might hit that big one up. Might hit that one. I haven't eaten much today, so we'll see. But if I go with the little one, I think that looks fantastic. Got a little bit of lime rice right there. Can't wait to have that with it. And got a nice big cut in at this point right here. Now, just so you know, uh, fish, especially athletic fish like this, is going to be very lean. You don't want to dry it out. So <clears throat> a flash uh, grilling like that, that's, you know, it's not going to, it's going to cook it like a medium well kind of thing. That looks pretty good to me. Mmm. That is perfect. I'll tell you right now, from experience, that is perfect. Fantastic. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you get a chance to try it. Keep a look at it in grocery stores, see if they ever have swordfish lying around. That's what I do. Always That's the best thing about fish like this. You can eat it, and it's never going to feel heavy. Maybe I'll even do a workout later. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hey guys, it's me, the Fat Dad. Just want to let y'all know, I hope y'all are enjoying the videos here on YouTube. But if you want to see more, uh, we actually have a Snapchat where you'll see a lot more of the uncut stuff. The final product is what ends up on YouTube, but a lot of bloopers, mistakes, and experiments happen on Snapchat, so check us out there. You can find that on our Instagram page, where if you follow our Instagram, you'll see uh, candid pictures of the dogs, uh, throwback pictures, and a little bit about each one of the recipes that we put up here on YouTube. So give that a try. That's Grilling with the Good Dogs on Instagram. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching the videos.